Hello, hi, how are you? This is Paul Van. Today I'm going to talk about the new article I just uh, uh, written and uh, regarding to the number one uh, reason we cannot achieve our levels success we want in our life is usually because we don't have we don't have those five important survival scale uh, for our life. So uh, in this article, we learn how to handle frustration, rejection, and uh, financial situation, and presence issue, and learn how to give and to success. So the earlier we can handle this scale, the faster we achieve the result we want. So first is handle frustration. Uh, we all have frustration, and some have a small one side can start in traffic jams, uh, start in snow jam, uh, snowstorm, and some have the big one like uh, living in major, major uh, in in the major relation problem issue, or problem with working space, or family with kid, anything. So the best way to overcome them is to change the representation of this frustration to something different. And I believe that you can change the uh, tone of voice, the different image, and different light, different volume. And so the bright and positive of image or the volume change or the uh, cover them into the, and then you convert them into a fascination. So it requires kind of practice because somebody actually uh, cut you in the line. Say say F word, we gonna say, you know, fascinate, right? So or so you gotta think about someone must be in rush, you know, to do a work. So we actually kind to change our internal representative in say our environment. So it is not easy and require lots of practice every day. The problem is uh, sometimes we just try once, two, and we give up. We don't actually practice, and sometimes we learn some great skill like um, to do to help our life, great financial work. It's, but we just we and we never implement that because we're so busy. So that is the key point: is uh, we have to like, manage our life for us to be able to handle more things. Well, God will give us more response. If we cannot manage our life, we cannot manage our, even our salary is a little bit, and we just are always. Um, uh, you know, more expense than our income, then God would certainly not be able to give us more money for us to handle more that, uh, that we can handle. So the best way I found is to take, um, for example, jogging or walking activity in the morning or in the uh, at night after dinner. Just uh, do the affirmation like, uh, I'm the best, I like myself, I'm the best, I keep saying, I'm the best, I'm the best, I like myself. So this is not actually self-loving or to be self-centered, but it's something that's great. Uh, you know, we actually want to remind ourselves and the things about our subconscious, we don't, subconscious, they don't reject uh, something that comes to your input. The, the best thing is about subconscious is because they don't think. So if you... Um, input some garbage and uh, you are reflecting your garbage from your subconscious. Not conscious, remember, I'm not talking about conscious. Maybe consciously you will say, okay, I want to have all this go one, two, three, but a year later you still ha can achieve that because just like I'm actually thinking about myself, is that's a problem because conscious I want to achieve my goal, but subconscious I was like, you know, well, whatever, I have a good job and I have a um, family, so I run into complacency, you know, I also fall into a scarcity because, uh, oh gosh, I have to business and some people are going to evaluate me, you know, they're going to put the score on me, you know, five star, four star, I'm scared about that or something, I, like, oh, I'm scared about support, or I'm scared about talk to people, so that is our, sub that's our subconscious, maybe consciously, you didn't tell people that you're scared, consciously, you want to do this, but subconscious, when things coming in, you have that kind of internal feeling, so that required to fix it by your routine, daily ritual routine, and by your um, efforts to do in your visualize, in your affirmation or incantation. So this will definitely found this that will change our state, and that is not overnight. Okay, um, change of state requires time. Just like you will not take one shower, you will take a shower every day, right? So it helps you turn frustration fascinating. Okay, so this is very important. I also want to spend a little bit of time is uh, just like um, this thing to do daily, just like you pray daily, you, you uh, read the, something, the good note, you read that daily to until you're thinking, right? Two is handle rejection. 
So that often fail to do one thing is they fail to handle rejection, you just give up. But remember when you was young, remember when you was young, you learned walking, you probably forget about the process, but the, you did walk, right? So when you are parents, if you are older to be parents like me, would you tell your kids, say, you know, just, you know, that doesn't work, try a different way. If you walk, doesn't work, try a different way. What I don't know what other way. You just have to walk, right? But uh, adults don't function that way, right? We just, we, we, give, we give up because we think it won't work. And a lot of time, it does, it does good to give up early because it definitely, you know, won't work. It's wrong direction. But if you believe this is the correct direction, this is going to help people, this is actually give the result, this is actually helping other people change life, you cannot give up. You have to continue doing. So this is actually very important. So a question, you know, I say we ask of the questions, how often the kids will learn, uh, will learn how to walk until he or she give, she give up and never try it again, right? The answer is never, right? So therefore, because walk is a good thing, right? Right? Uh, you will never give up on good thing, right? Helping the people is a good thing. You will never give up on helping people if that provides value. So therefore, if you are the salesperson, you knock at the door and you need to realize with someone say no, right? You are actually making money. Because we, I go to a sales training. I used to be a real estate realtor. I also sell ADT uh, home security. I went to a training. And training is knocking the door and guess what? And talk about some your, you know, 10 second, you know, speech, even shorter than an elevator speech. And so you can enter into a door. And if you are not able to enter into the door, you go to the next door. But do you ever experience seeing somebody people shut your door? I do, right? When I'm knocking the door, do you ever experience seeing somebody say something to you, feel sad? Like, uh, you know, um, to find a real job. <laughs> I'm locking, locking door in South Georgia area. Lots of people told me, why can't you find a, find a real job, right? So, uh, it, so it actually discourages you. So when you now you was like a totally, totally peak and uh, when you're knocking to the uh, 20, 30 door that can arrange like, uh, you know, two hours later. Uh, it's not because you're tired. It's just because, you know, somebody said that to you. But once you compare how much money you may be to, divided by door you know, actually you you interest in find you making like uh, eighteen dollars across twenty dollars knocking the door. Some industry maybe low, some industry higher. So every time you lock the door, you know even even though uh, they say no, you are still making like uh, eighteen dollar. And um, so when some people say when you build to some kind of reaction response like some people are actually in the door and they kind of hesitate you will actually kind of ask the person so yes and no if no please be come uh be more uh, uh you know be confirm that you know do not hesitate if you, yes you know also you know make sure you say yes is yes so we can go in the side of security you know agreement contract and so we uh, we can get a security install for you. So this is actually kind of mentality. And when I say that, some people, some new homeowner, they might say, oh, you, you are interesting. Then whatever previous guy like the door is trying to sell them some, you know, the moving package or something, and they go inside and talk to that person. So you have that kind of peace of mind. Why? Because you know how to handle rejection. So this is how I handle rejection. But when I knock into door, there are other things that have rejection. I have a lot of rejection right now today because of my uh, ESP cancel my service because I sent too much spam email. This is spam email, and I really don't know that uh, that's a spam email. I kind of know, but I I didn't spend time to you know change that. Um, another word is my email is everything about promotion, promotion. I didn't talk about the um the value which is uh teaching them how to you know uh doing something i do i love to do or something uh will benefit them so we back to this number two here so um that's how i handle rejection and it can apply to 
uh, the other case because I divided by how much how much I made divided by how many dough I not every uh, in the uh, we only knock in the door in the afternoon in the morning we still work and this afternoon we we knock in door because people are home right in the morning in the afternoon noon time they don't they are home we knocking so we working regular time and in the morning we do some paperwork in the afternoon we do some training we watch some motivational video and uh, when we go home. When with the three o'clock, other people started to go home. That's the time we start knocking door, and we go home like eight or nine o'clock. Sometimes we write a contract, say, and we go home like ten, eleven o'clock. I, I don't know how I survived that kind of day. You know, working like twelve hours every day. So, um, so I gotta talk about complacency because um, I used to be working that kind of time, and uh, uh, now nowadays, you know, it's just too comfortable, you know. But anyway, um, um, people have this concept will always produce result. Okay, three end of financial problem. I've been in the book, richest man in Vietnam. He said the number one of financial success is to give ten percent. So. I used to think about this, man. I don't have any money. How can I give ten percent? I know that is the secret of the says because everybody talk about that, right? If all the rich people talk about that, that must be a real secret. Um, because if you doubt, you know, think seriously, you know what? So I start going to church, you know, give some money. I it's hard to give ten percent. Uh, you know, I starting with like three uh, percent, five percent. And um, but some I I read the books. I mean, Richard's main buying you know, and say ten percent. Say something like uh, if if you are you are not rich, you are just you're just also and ten. Just say you know one dollars out of one hundred dollars easy. Even ten dollars out of one thousand dollars easy. Okay, maybe one hundred dollars out of ten thousand dollars. If you make that kind of monthly income. <laughs> A weekly income, okay. Uh, one thousand out of ten thousand, that is still okay, probably. But uh, if you do not have that like, uh, the success habit, and uh, and if well, I see some people actually they probably never practice of this giving, and they are still a lot of money. I don't know, um, but uh, imagine that. Um, I don't know how they do that, but uh, remember, uh, wealth is not the amount of money accumulate, right? You accumulate the amount of money that you be able to um, um, have passive income. So um, that's more important that you don't have to work, you still have. So I'm I'm trying to say yes. Imagine that if you are making, just say ten thousand dollars, just say per week. And if you not be able to, you know, give ten percent out of one thousand dollars, or ten percent out of one hundred dollars, when you earn forty, fifty thousand dollars per month, and you give ten percent, that will be very, very difficult, right? And um, so you might be you might be asked this question: How can somebody don't give and they? Can make that amount of money. So the um, ten percent giving is maybe it's not so correct, right? I know I also have that doubt. Okay, just be serious. So I have little faith and I get little reward, right? <laughs> so I have that doubt to starting do with one percent, with three percent, okay, until you comfortable and you. Especially some people actually listen to this video. Your income is very high, right? Uh, if you don't have this habit, you can start with one percent, two percent. Just give something. The point is, you need to be willing for to give, not something. Oh gosh, no, not not that. That is something willing for, grateful, something happy. Because when you give, your subconscious mind. Well, I keep saying that is something that I mean. You you consciously you, you don't know consciously, right? Um, your brain will say, "Oh yeah, you have abundance." Okay, but when you give, you you, you probably don't think about that. You just think about um, maybe you just think about I I give because it's biblical, 
correctly, right? Or you give because other people do that, you know, in church or in your, you know, friends among your friends. So, um, I I really found some a, a person that willing to give and uh, and they are selfish. They are um, not easy to you know work with, so etc. Um, I'm trying to say is uh, something you do not expect. Um, I won't say it's a miracle, but I would say that something you didn't expect, you didn't realize, and suddenly it just happened all once, and some because too much, and it's kind of like burst, it kind of like uh, um, you realize that in conscious level, but it was in subconscious level. Um, so that's number one. Um, if you if you if we give our brain what save us our in our subconscious showing that we have the brain disease, of course, that is not the only reason, right? It is also about the natural law for sowing and reaping. I probably get the wrong spell over here, but uh, I'll check. I, I wrote this one earlier today. But that you know what I'm talking about, and it is um. Breakable, uh, just like someone in the earth and uh, there's a gravity, then you cannot break the rule of gravity. Number two, financial says is spend 10% to pay off debt because debt is your master. If you still have debts, think carefully, you know, seriously, you know, pay your debts. I'm not talking about your house debt. I'm talking about your cash flow, your credit card. House is I consider is good debt because house will appreciate well sometimes depreciate but uh, overall right when the currency depreciate all the currency is depreciated because nobody is using gold as a measurement for currency so currency over time is depreciating well it's trend I don't know the long 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 term but I just say that it, it is in the the chart that we normally see in the compared to the house that kind of chart kind of year. Uh, currency over time is decreasing or compared to other currency decreasing the house relatively increasing value so um, I would say uh, you know long story short is pay off the debts okay pay off the real debts car loan you know uh, your personal loan okay without taking you know because without taking care of you will you know like a able to you know get rid of your master then you be a, be still you know managed by the master by the money still you master money so that's a bit different okay so your financial success is using 10 percent to invest and use the rest to for the expenses so it's worth 70 percent you're gonna use for expenses okay investing is very important even though you don't know how to invest you still put 10 percent just put in the so put the soil away. So it's something that you don't remember. The best you don't remember, okay, that is the best way. Because if you remember, if you know where it is, and if you do not have that high uh, self-control, like okay, me, <laughs> always withdraw money from the, um, you know, retirement uh, investing, buy a house or something. Well, maybe it's okay buy a house, but buy a car or personal, you know, business investment now. Four, handle complacency. So, ever heard someone say, when you green, when you you are up, and when you comfortable, you are what, right? Tell you true about life as well. If we only compare ourselves to other, uh, once we feel better, we will feel comfortable, right? Um, because uh, a lot of time we like to compare with, you know, like a, a car, you no know, house, something. So. So the best way is to compare to our goal, right? Not our existing other people with other people, and uh, um, because sometimes I feel that compared to with other people, you will generate like a jealousy, like sometimes even with you know dislike, you know hatred. <laughs> you know, think about those. So it's important to compare to our goal, right? Because when you think about, if you upset, think about your goal. You know, you, you will be more brighter because goal is normally positive, right? Nobody, I don't think nobody gonna set a goal to, 
to rock the band. But I, not movie actually people actually did that. But I, I think uh, a lot of time in the real life, you know, those people rock the band. They didn't actually carefully like uh, the people did that in the movie. Um, yes, yeah, some will, but uh, sometimes movie is something that we actually, I that's just my personal belief. We actually um, uh, beautify. I mean the fantasize the uh, crime, right? Don't you think so? But anyway, uh, people might be uh, disagree, but I, I would just say um, your goal is not always positive, but if you have negative goal, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, that is not good. <laughs> okay, that go to hurt other people. So never Wrong base of life without go, just like uh, that uh, bow uh, without the uh, oar, or car without a wheel. Okay, uh, that would be a problem. Okay, it's in the morning, like uh, I'm going out in a new city, and uh, you know, going out even though you drive, you don't drive, right? It's going out, hey, taxi, and you're going to the cab, and, and, and you say, uh, I don't know where to go. Maybe just, you know, go east for uh, two miles and go north for. Um, to uh, one hour and go, no, that's not going to get it will you anyway. You'll not be able to reach your destination destination that way, right? So, handle complacency. Make sure you have goal, okay? Um, reach goal, then set up a new goal, right? Fine. Finally, give first, okay? I heard um, some people actually say you need to earn it first. So you have enough to give, right? So you can give to others. It sounds very logical, right? Okay. But if, if we all care about ourselves when we first start, right? We would be the one who would be, we think we should be the one be receiving. So eventually that caused the greed and hate in society. Uh, we need and so we're fighting for resources because uh, in that case we'll think resources is going to be limited. So that is wrong, right? So we need to learn to give first. For example, in the blogging, we, blogging we, we, I write this article to give content and tips of a reader. It might be they will never, you know, read this, okay, but hopefully if they read, and then, you know, they might be willing to you know, uh, look at something, the offer I present, uh, maybe buy, maybe not buy, it's okay, just, you know, at least they will return by spending time with um, with the link I provide, right? So, but give first, right? Do not ask for return before expecting people, right? Join or you say anything. So now is the time to take action to change your life, okay? If you do not know how to start, right? Just start with morning ritual, right? Wake up 6 a.m. jogging, shall eat, work, etc. Whatever your ritual is, and I've just talked about mine. So think about a ritual that will help you handle those negative feelings and give you a positive result, right? Because you, we're gonna always have fun. We're gonna always have something we don't like. So it's gonna be eventually you. The, mon the more money you make, the more the circle expand. The circle you have, the more problem you're gonna have. You, the, more problem you're gonna have, you're gonna learn how to handle those problems and frustration before you can explain your circle. Set a new goal. That's how we grow. That's how we live. Right? We live in the earth. It's, earth is not just a, you know, just gonna be my little self. Or, well, uh, I remember, some, you know, um, somebody talked about the rocking chair test. Okay. If I'm in a rocking chair, think about you are in the 80s, and you rocking chair, think about something you regret in my regret when you was young. So think about right now, if you if you already, you know, highly unlikely people watch my video are going to be more than about 80s, <laughs> most likely my, my, my age. But in case uh, you are already, already in the 80s, still, we still have time, we still can set go. But I'm saying that you don't want to Say something. Oh, I didn't do that. Okay, of course you didn't. You don't want to think about. Oh, yeah, I didn't do that. The bad thing. No, of course don't do any bad thing. Right? So I'm not. I'm thinking about. Oh, I didn't take care of that good friend. You know, it's really a good friend. I I should. Um, I should I should I should help more, 
or something you did before you hurt somebody, even maybe your be- your closest one, is oh I shouldn't do that. Okay, that many years ago. Even though I changed, but that still leaves some uh, the bad feeling, you know, uh, information emotion emotion. It, it's it's gonna be it's still history, right? Or maybe you think. Uh, Oh, I was so healthy. I should go to that place. You know, now I'm. You know, I cannot go over different kind of place. Or, or I should this and should that. You know, don't. Uh, don't actually waiting to complete your bucket list until you retire or you think your financial. You know, sustainable. Don't wait. You have financial ability um, before you take a family vacation. You don't have to be any hard luxury vacation. Anything. I have a vacation. Sometimes I, I, lots of time I just went to a cheap motel six. You know, something like that. You know. Well, um, I'm just trying to say yes. Uh, whatever you have bucket list and try to finish, you don't really need a lot of money to complete your bucket list. Yes, I hear what you say. Everything need money, okay? But isn't you working hard? Isn't isn't you? I I will I'm I will be if you watching this video. I will think you'll be just like me, you know, working hard. And maybe we don't get the result we want. Maybe just that kind of we don't know even know maybe it's that kind of little bit that we can break through maybe we don't even know we're gonna pay break through but a lot of time in our life it's not about the, how much money you have it's about how much the care okay, you can give so once you still have the uh, time you're still alive um, don't wait until like uh, you know you got sick or anything and so oh yeah that I got cancer or something okay that let's go to our no we don't want you don't want to do that well I'm not saying I have cancer or something but I do have a major uh, operation uh, just about a year ago okay uh, it's a yeah it is a life and death situation the operation. Uh, it, it, it is not a cancer, but it's a life and death situation, operation. Uh, it's a procedure, okay? It's not like a big operation. But it's done in one afternoon, I go home. I don't have to stay in the hospital. But it's still life and death. So, I just want to tell you, I, I'm trying to, I was trying to record this video, maybe just 10 minutes right now, probably I don't know how long the video is. But night times take advantage to change your life, okay? If you do not know how to start, okay, just start with the morning routine I talk about. It's just about the ritual will help you handle those negative feelings, right? And give you a positive result and try not to be, to be too late uh, because that may cause the temptation when it's too much video and too much time wasting non-productive activity, okay? So I will not talk too much about the three nine, how, how worse is that. Of course, something you, sometimes you want to do this is, no, you know, it's positive, you know, it's helping the people. And you want to, you know, you want to complete them, okay? But um, um, if you are live by yourself, that's okay. But if you if you have family, uh, that is selfish, okay? Well, I was just gonna, <laughs> but you know, what I'm talking about associate the action with a positive attitude and motivate yourself by affirmation, visualization of the goal you set, okay? Sometimes also handwriting, handwriting your goal. Especially when you're frustrating, okay. Trust me. Um, um, I I actually why when I was living in a rental house, and I keep writing, I want. I kind of you know. Um, all right, just say I want I want seven bedroom and six seven bedroom and six bedroom house. Seven. I don't know why I want to write that, that amount of house. I don't really care about seven bedrooms, six beds. I just, I just think about, you know, maybe I want to put something larger number, something unbelievable, and and just about 
and and uh, I was looking for a house. Um, and I forget about seven bedroom and six beds. I really totally totally forget about that. I think seven bedroom, five beds. I I, I say seven bedroom, five not six beds. Seven bedroom, five beds. And I forgot about that. And uh, just about one year later, I buy a house. Well, it's it's not. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's it's really six six room. It's not even bedroom, you know, it's like a bedroom wise four and they are two like a, a thing, you know, but there's no clock. Well, there's one is crazy. Okay. Four, five, so five. One, one is crazy. And two dent. So that's six, five, six, seven. So that's seven. Uh, but two, there's, there's two dent. There's no crazy. But that's a room, right? It's, it's a room, a room, you know. So. So I, I purchased house, okay, the house actually lists uh, so four bedroom, but what ha what happened is that the basement is finished, so they have one room has, has a closet and there's two den, a small den, one, one is a larger and now one small. So total is seven, right? And the bedroom upstairs has one, two, three. The first day have four and basement has one, so five bedrooms. I didn't even know. Actually, I originally I don't like the house. So when you write in, it kind of like give you a navigation that you subconsciously would attract toward those house, and you attract to those ho homeowner. Because I first look at the house, I just trying to leave. Why? Right? Because I don't like the house. The reason because um, I don't like the house, which is at the corner. Because the corner actually, even though it's not big wall, but uh, people driving the stop sign, you know, in America, there's a stop sign, and the stop sign when the when the car goes out, it gotta be mm mm. I don't like that kind of noise. If you that kind of noise, if you car just pa pass by regularly, and it's, it's easy to just install like a stone window, you know, like you know, additional accurate. You know, kind of plastic window it will be taken, but mm -hmm, that kind of sound is very, somewhat very hard. And I installed the stone window for one of the room. I still see right now day, but I get more and more, more and more just. You know, more just because I hope you know. <laughs> that time when I actually do you know writing my goal, I say you know the house is not next to a stop sign, <laughs> but it's too late. I didn't write that down. I only write down seven bedroom and five beds. Okay, I can even prove show you the paper that I write. I write that for many many months. Okay, many months. I write that every day for many many months. I don't know how many months. I can track that down. At least four, maybe four months, four five months. And I actually I write that and I started looking the house like three months later. I didn't do any action until three months later. But anyway, let's go. <laughs> and try not to speak too late. That may cause temptation or watching too much video and do too much time with non productivity. Okay, one thing is you might ask me, so how, how, how do you have money to buy those? That's another story I might be talk to you in a different way. I don't have the money to buy it. I almost get the owner financing because I don't have money to buy that type of house. But you might be saying, then why go to see the house i didn't go to see that house i put the ads i sent i sent the um, postcard i didn't particularly seeking that size of house i was just seeking for four bedroom and it just happened to be the house the extra big again and the finished finished basement and just fit my criteria okay anyway associate the action with a positive attitude and motivation yourself by affirmation visualization, okay, I talk about that. Once we fix ourselves, we can explore some new things to help us to work on something, okay? And this is a, this is a program that you might be interested. Okay, if you're interested, in, click the link. I include conclude this like this exact like famous word is. Yeah. See you in the top. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a very bright day. Bye bye.